Scammers attacks Rise of Kingdoms Lilith games. Many players have been affected of this scam. We don't know the exact number of players, but with the recent event, it's been a trending topic, and we have been informed about it by certain people about this scamming allegation that has been going on. Before you hate me in this video, I want you guys to understand that I am making this video to give you the information of what is happening within the community. Being scam is not a laughing matter. Everyone loses except the scammers. So I want you guys to understand in this video that we are going to look into the whole scenario and the whole thing and make sure to understand what is it in the business perspective? What is it under the consumer's perspective? Because it sucks. I've been scammed before, not in Rise of Kingdoms. I've been scammed outside of Rise of Kingdoms and it sucks. Your heart pounds, you lose sleep and it, it just is a horrible feeling. So uh, in this video, we need to make an awareness to every consumers of rice or you know, every players of this game. Never, ever give your account to anyone. And if it's too good to be true, it's probably scam. Another thing, a company, let's say you're, I, I'm going to talk about this in the video as well. So I do hope you watch until the end. Companies will never really ask you for the information for you to, you know, with your you know account, you know, username and password. So keep that in mind. If you guys enjoy Rise of Kingdoms content, we are a content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. Today, we're going to talk about something quite political in the game. Uh, I don't really have any huge opinion for this, but I just want to give you guys some of the facts and some of the things that I may know and some of the stuff that I have questions about. Um, like what my other friend said, I, I'm going to say this because it's such a good statement. It says here, I do not side with the people who scammed for their own gain, right? So um, it, it's really hard, but it sucks to be scammed within, you know, with, actually it just sucks to be scammed at all, right? So who really is scammed in the process at the end of the day all right so let's talk about this in the video because it's 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 very interesting and it's going to shed awareness to every single player and possibly outside of game life as well So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the, the the story according to what the other creators have said and according to what the community has said. Okay. 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 So first, um, many people in ROK have been talking about accounts being banned due to refunds. Yeah, I've heard about right? that refund. Puddle Kicks told me something about it. Right. Right. And then Chizgul broke it open by him saying that he actually knows, um, maybe potentially knows someone he knew personally from playing with them that they may have uh, come in contact with a source who was purchasing bundles at a discounted price for them. Mm. How oh, I've heard about this. Something about purchased. logging into their account yeah. and buying bundles for them. Correct. Yeah, Correct. I read about it recently. At a discounted rate. How do you even do words, that? They, they pay a third party, right? They pay their third party. You know, uh, if the bundle's going to cost you $200, they get 30% off the top, which is, what, $140. Right, that's quite the. So is you know, it a, only is it a Google thing or is it an ROK thing? It is a third party person who is a trusted uh, source to these people who is approaching them. So uh. at some point, it had to have sounded very legit, especially after receiving results, right? Uh huh. So people so, shared the contact, blah blah blah. Expanded the network. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right. 
and then they expanded some kind of a network, right? Um, so here's what happened. So Chisgul's saying all this, right, on his video. And then what happens is uh, Chisgul explains how they go about getting banned. So the person who does the purchasing straight from Lilith, right, is the third party. Mm. Therefore, they actually end up taking all the refund money back. Okay. And so you, as the first party, right, the person who owns the account, gets blamed. Lilith, Lilith seizes your account and then pawns your account. What do you mean by pawn, pawn, the, pawns? Pawns like, uh, pawn. you know, power own. Right? Like they like, basically take your account like pawn and now star? They put you in the red. Yeah. Like yeah. Like they take they put you in the red. Now you are negative gems. Uh huh. I've heard about this, yeah. Because yeah, you're yeah. doing refund. Oh. So they'll 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 take away because whatever the, you purchase. The third party pulled all the refund money. So, so Pot Cakes they told me about this. Mm-hmm. That yeah, you right. you get to keep whatever you bought though during that period of time, I think, or something like that. He explained a little right. bit. Okay. Right. But, but, okay. But only you get to keep what you purchased, of course, like during that period of time that you bought yourself. Okay. But the stuff that you went through via third party, they take all that money back and you already paid them that, you know, 70%. Yeah. I mean, you the... lose all your money. The individual who sold that to you gets the money, basically. Correct. Okay. All the hundred percent of the money that they purchased from Lilith. So right. Yes, but then what's the issue By with? Proxy. So are people assuming that Lilith's doing something because that's that's ridiculous. It's it's probably a rogue. Right. If if it is, it's a rogue, uh, rogue person. You know, rogue person. Right. It could have been an oh, ex employee. It could have been. It could have been an, a current employee at the time who, once they pulled the re, once they did the refund, quit the company. It could be right. Um, ah, so uh, it could be thousands and to- thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so enough to make you want to quit your company and then just go and you know sail away to to somewhere. So here's here's the here's the catch. So, after Chisgul explains how it's all happening, he says, don't ever give your account for any reason to anyone, period. Right? Mm-hmm. To anyone, period. Right? Like, that's like, that's, you should that's, never do that. That's like, that's like the basic right. thing. That's like the basics, right? Right. Except for then, John Wick now just put out a video. It's a seven minute video. He says, I'm going to slow down my content. I'm stepping away from making content for our, uh, about ROK. And the reason why he explains in his short video is because he says, I cannot turn a blind eye to what I'm looking at. Okay. He's basically saying, um, I have had many people reaching out to me from the community who have had their accounts basically like destroyed. Like their accounts are wrecked. Like, they can play, but they literally have negative on everything, you know? Okay. So so they have all this stuff. They lost all these commanders. They lost all this, you know what I mean? Gold heads. They have negative gold heads. They have, yeah. You know? All this different equipment, all this whatever, you know? Yeah. All in the red. And so he's basically saying, like, I've seen, I've seen screenshots of conversations that, they took, that took place with alleged employees emails uh-huh. from alleged employees i'm guessing from rok right because he said lily right alleged yeah i mean I, there's, there's no proof there's really no proof yeah right well i mean it's proof to him in the sense of here's I the mean, email that they sent me here's the exchange of conversation um, and um it, so my question yeah, is so, here's here's two things yeah. that, I, that i that i that i see here is that is it um is it also, you know, a party that is just trying to blame Lilith or 
um you know because you 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 know it's allegation right you know it could be a a a, a person that is just trying to ruin Lilith's image because Lilith has been super successful and we know that you know the game source is you know i mean people have access to leaks from the game um you know and then the second thing is that who do we really blame here right is it is it you know first of all you shouldn't have accepted any kind of offer um, like that, you know, it, it, let's be honest, like that's already uh, breaching against TOS. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, right. but, but okay. So I, I see your point, right? Uh, however, I will, I will say this, uh, John Wick actually highlighted something that I thought was fairly important to think about the history, right? With it, you know, what content creator got in trouble for reaching out to Lilith to grant him more items for a war that he was losing. Oh, right? uh, a uh, long time ago, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was a long time ago, right? Yeah. But once the thing got leaked from inside Lilith, it got leaked out. And the community found out. They basically turned around and instead of admitting some of the responsibility... Well, well they did. They pretty they, much they did wrecked admit that. the guy's yeah, they tarnished the guy's like reputation. Then they 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 turn around and turn it on you guys who are content creators. This is my opinion. My opinion is they turn it around and then they hit the content creators with other stuff, right? Um, by saying you know, oh, this is an abuse of this and that. Well, you know, well, all this stuff, right? Well, so honestly, they, honestly, uh. They did it. I mean, here's my opinion, though. So mm-hmm. with that, well, we go back what two years ago with that issue. Yeah, two um, and a half years ago. Two years ago. Maybe. I mean, I've you know what they. I think they've already stated this in their Discord, right? That oh yeah, we we acknowledge everything that happened, and well, it, moving forward, what we're gonna do instead is that we're just gonna pay the 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 creators, right? They said that in the Discord, their announcement, and they said that it's now from this, you know, it's gonna be depending on what the creators want to do with their money. Um, and right. I believe I don't know I don't know if the real real source of this, but I think that person who was reprimanded for that action, I think he was refunded with all the stuff that he was you know uh, purchased for. Or I don't I don't I don't really know if it's true or not. Um, but that's just my assumption. But I mean, right. honestly, from that happening, whoever you know, I think that was a really good uh, approach from that. S- uh, from that time on, honestly, because then, honestly, because like for me, as you can see, I've been becoming a lot more free to play, right? Even though I'm, you know, right. still sponsored. So, right. So honestly, um, with that aspect, I think it allowed the game to grow, uh, to to be more mature, honestly, because I mean, it's a new business at that time. It, they they had to learn all that uh, sequence. But now, for for honestly, honestly, with this. With this, um, with this, uh, like scam thingy that 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 has been going on, I I, I highly doubt that uh, such a, a successful company as Lilith is now that they would do, they would do something like that. Because right. I mean, imagine they're being make like what is, you know, few few people like you know they they make so what much. What is more. the point of scamming a few players um, for you know? Yeah, for their for their reputation, it right. it doesn't make sense right. that. Uh, a company like I mean, there are what probably in the top three. They're top top three biggest company in China right now. I assume they're probably below ten cent. Um, See, but that's not. I don't think that this is what I don't think that this is what John Wick is talking about, right? Like, it, uh, it, yeah, okay, it could be nothing to the company to who makes millions of dollars off their general population, right? But I also feel like if someone abused the Lilith company name through via using official Lilith, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, emails, official Lilith, Lilith emails. Oh, so right? it's official Lilith emails. It's not like, I mean, yeah. Do is it like yeah. Lilith.com coming out? Yeah, it could be. It could be. It, 
could be so. You know, I mean, gotta, let me no wait, them. wait, no, hold on. Well, we need to see no. the pictures of email because you, it could be it could be somebody pretending as a you know. I mean, I get a lot of scam email all the time in my my game email. Right, um, right. sorry, my YouTube email. Like I get you offers. Said, it could just be a scammer, like a huge company of scammers of some kind that oh, are trying to and, and, ruin and, Lilith, right? There's a lot of professional scammers, you know. There and, is. There's and, professional scams available. And, but I think here's where here's the direction that I think what 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 maybe John Wick is headed towards. But wait, 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 wait. Before you say that, my my, my stand yeah. still is that if you are doing illegal activities, let's say in reality in this world, you do illegal activities, right? And then these right, right, this right. illegal activities that you're doing get caught, okay. right? Right. But then, okay. where? How do you turn into police? You know, because you're okay. doing illegal activity, and then well, right, right, okay. No, let, let, let's go that route. Let's let's go that route. Let's let's say, let's say, you you are you are you are participating in something that's illegal, right? Yeah, I mean, but, yeah. I mean, it, technically, it is illegal. Consumer. Right. Technically, it's illegal. But what if you're a consumer, right? Just a run-of-the-mill whale who is VIP 18. I mean, it would who suck. Is spending, like, like, who's spending tens of thousands and, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in that you love, right? It sucks, yeah. And, and, and okay, but, no, but, but here, hear me out, right? Okay. And then suddenly, you feel like this is a legitimate... Uh, email coming to you from the company who owns the game. Okay, but here's the thing. Playing. Here's the thing. Right? Have you heard a saying? Mm -hmm. If it's too good to be true, it's probably fake. Yeah, that's that could. So you're saying don't be naive, right? Y yes, at a certain so point, because there, like there, there is there is a certain level of naivety, right? That can you can attribute to that, right? Yes. But how many times have you seen that? That whales have VIP VIP treatment in the game. Uh, but honestly, un you unless even have, you even have special GM chats. Uh, honestly, what they would have they should have done is if yeah. if if they, they should have asked the actual in-game support because it's kind of sketchy. That why would Lilith give give discount? Just just so it's just so sketchy. I think. Like I, I, well, I, I mean, I, you would you would, you might believe it though. Uh, you might believe it. I, I you mean, might. but here's you, where you know, comes. What the, I'm saying is, if I'm speaking from the point of giving I, I, people the benefit of the doubt. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you know? I mean, like I said, if it's if it's like a professional scammer, they'll make it so well enough that you'll believe. It would be so. What they're how offering. many people get scammed daily on the phone? Right. But, uh, so, so what but happens I, I, is then, then the credit bureau ends up giving you, you know, the money back because you were scammed. But you know, insurance to cover this stuff. You know what I mean? I, honestly, because you know, you know, you know, games like this, they have to abide by the rules of terms and agreements of uh, Apple and Google. You know, right? And they can't yeah. just like. I mean, why would they risk? Why would they? You know, why would they risk? something that they have built so you know so good and so well, so well just just right. just for that it doesn't and make not, sense and to I'm me not saying, and i'm not saying that it would be lily what i what i'm getting down to the point is is that i think at some point or another i think lilith has to make a decision whether they want to protect their own um their own consumers even from scams. What what they have they should be doing. Uh, we know I don't know if they're aware of it right now because they just probably well, got got done with the Chinese holiday. Um, but yeah. but in my opinion, I think what they should do is they should just they should send a mail. I I don't know if whether yeah. or not these players should probably get the accounts back or I don't know what repercussion because that's not my expertise. You know that's not my business. Right. My business is creating videos and you know giving the information. Uh, All right. Right. But uh, honestly, you know, if if it's too good to be true, you know, and and it probably is. I mean, I mean, these right? if these people are whales, they these guys are not like these guys are well educated. 
right? Usually, I mean, <laughs> usually if you're making I that mean, much, I mean, you're, you're some kind of a fund baby, you know? Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, you should be well educated enough. But I, I feel like I feel like it's also come in with the, you know, with the greed. Yes, but right, and I mean, you you your competitiveness could lead you down that path too, you know, like. Hey, you know what, man? I'm such a VIP baller that this person reached out to me from Lilith, and Lilith is offering me a discount now because I'm such a VIP baller. You know, I mean, like, I get it. it. I, I get, I get that point that you can yeah. get baited yeah. for that. But I, I feel like, yeah. I feel like if it was me, um, I, I don't think I would because knowing, like, just, just knowing, like, that you can't really do that, that because it doesn't make sense. Right. You, 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 you're a very well educated person in gaming though, too. You, right? you really can't do is like you can't go, you know, just go back back door with the deals and, and into the bundles, honestly. Um especially single individual really like well, I, I don't know. Well, so if that's the I case, mean, if that's the case, or listen, if that's the case, why did they have to do this hush hush really? Is that if they think it's like really like legit why don't they have openly talked about it in Discord, in 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 the general well, forum? You know. Well, and, because, well, I would honestly think because of, uh, you know, it could be that you know they could have used the whole uh, hush hush thing, yeah, the, whole, the whole hush hush Ronnie thing. I mm. mean, sorry, the last con the, another content creator that was hush hush that got leaked, and they seen how they did his account. So they could have just used that as a way of saying, "Hey, man, listen. Uh, Again, you cannot I think tell anyone. You cannot tell anyone that we are doing this with your account. That we're giving you extra special VIP treatment." And that's exactly um, what a professional you know? scammer would actually do. Exactly right. And as somebody who is uh, new to gaming, new to how uh, you know a company such as Lilith would actually operate, like could actually fall prey to that my yeah. point is it's not to demonize lilith at this point you know my point is that maybe you know given that lilith has enough money millions of dollars earned given that they have a, such a good reputation and that they have such a strong community i think that the best play for lilith at this point isn't to punish the players to just say hey everybody that did it is a bad person they could literally be falling prey to scammers and i think it would be good for lilith to send well, out a mass email to protect the players to protect the community and my opinion is that those players who were scammed if they can actually prove with emails and, yeah. and messages that seem legit that they get their uh accounts back to normal so that's my opinion so there's a few i mean i don't really have an opinion on this one okay so yeah. here's some of the things that i could think of like in a business perspective like i mean i don't know how much was lost but if if right. if these were refunded uh so taken out so you said this person refunded right eventually right, right. so he took all the money you know that, that that he spent so basically you know you know probably lilith still had to pay um you know the 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 the, the app stores right and there's could be a huge negative loss for them as well. I mean, it might not be a huge loss, but in a big company is like this. Metrics runs the system, right? Everything is run by metric. Um, so they they have their stats that they need to look at. So maybe that's the reason why they kind of had to, like, you know, make these actions. But honestly, in my opinion, what they need to do is they need to make a statement that that you know you know um do not like you know. Uh, you know, there's no such thing as, you know, like discount bundle. But they also mentioned before, remember there was some issue where we were, were, were in our KVK where people were like accidentally getting Fortress deleted and they were blaming 1412 for it. And then Lilith ended up saying like, don't share your accounts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do recall. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So remember that? Yeah. So Lilith yeah, said I in a statement recall, like, hey, I don't do share recall your accounts. I do recall something like that of that nature going out about that. Um, that so, there was an address for that. Um, but even like, even so, right. Even so, like what you're saying is true. Like even given the, the, the gravity of, Hey, you know what? Lilith has to pay out. 
therefore somebody has to pay for it at the end of it. Right? The, the the thing is um, is that what people you know there's there's a thing with emotions, right? Of course, it sucks to pe for people to lose yeah. money. Yes, it's it's unfortunate, right? But but for my, I mean, I I don't really have an opinion, right? At the end of the day, um, but I mean, if I was a consumer, of course, I would want to get my money back. I mean, honestly, but we also have to think about it. What would they do in a business perspective? Because at the end of the day, it is a business. Like what would they, you know do? what, at, at the end of the day, I guess also as a consumer, you have to be aware of one thing. Uh -huh. And that is even your account isn't your account. It belongs to Lilith. It's property of Lilith. Technically, I mean, yes, it's owned. Yeah, I mean, because they, they own the the coding and the game and everything. And so, literally, I mean, any game is owned by a company of that game. Honestly, however, however, I will say is if Lilith is playing the long term investment uh, game, uh, and they want these people who have spent thousands and thousands of dollars in trying to make their account good then that means these people will go back to spending thousands and thousands of dollars to continue to have fun. I mean, so yeah. I don't think, I think at a certain point, there is something to, to be said that if Lilith can try to somehow, uh, if, if these people present enough evidence to Lilith to say, hey, I was scammed. I had no idea. This, this wasn't uh, my intention to scam Lilith. It was never my intention for my account to be this way. I am actually. But uh, let's be. But okay, here I'm gonna be kind of a devil's advocate here, but uh, right. because I want to be able to look into all, all sides, right. right? I mean, you're doing on you're doing on the consumer sides, but but we we you know in 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 life there's 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 always like many sides of this many sides of opinion stories and everything so i mean in in in, in like let's say there's staffs in h in in Lilith that they, they would probably say like i mean first of all why did you even do this action because you want to get a discount right you want to get you want to bypass a system systems uh system price so i mean you know first of all like what was your intent like uh, intent is the biggest thing in those in this world honestly in my opinion like for initially you you initially have a malicious intent to to even consider I it. I think I think I think intent is to have fun at a cheaper price. Yes, and still, but it's, then it's again, going, that is that is you know? breaching the terms of agreements. That you know. Yeah. But I, I mean, like, they really do need to try to prove that. You know, I mean, it's coming from like Lilith dot com uh, email, right? Yeah. And, and, and that's what I'm getting at is that if if give presented enough evidence to where they can say, look, man, they need to find is, who this is how they it, scammed me. This is what was scammed because I believe here's what I believe. I believe that if it was a true scam to the point where it breached, uh, it, it it actually reached Lilith's pocket, right? Then that means that there is an insurance that can cover Lilith, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure. I'm and sure then, they have some sort of insurance, but but yeah, but but again, I I you know yeah, if it's I don't think it's a scam. It's within Lilith. I think it's a scam outside of Lilith, in my opinion, because it doesn't I make mean, sense. I mean, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, but that still leaves us with the with the um, I don't know how many people this happened to by any means, right? Like not that's true. Knows. I've heard some and sort of like it's an entire the kingdom. Of money. I, I've we heard don't know the amount of money. I've heard like something about like in a in a whole kingdom or something like that that was like people were scammed or something uh within 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 the kingdom or something like that. So I wasn't I'm not really aware of like the magnitude of it either. Um yeah. but well that's that only Lilith knows, you know. And so I think that that if you uh I think that if they I think first first action I think if if it wasn't me if I was the PR uh, what I would do is make sure I send a mail to 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 calm down the community which you know I mean I've heard about it in a few people I mean I honestly I don't think it's affecting you know a whole percentage of uh, player base um, because you don't you know we don't you know I only heard this in a handful of people and it's probably in the top you know certain top top players really that has this issues going on. Um, but I think what they need to do is like they need to make a clarification statement saying like, hey, you know, we're not doing these kind of deals. You know, these kind of deals. If it's if you think it's malicious, it's most likely a malicious deal. You know. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it, yeah. I think maybe they should address it publicly. But like again, they just we just finished lunar year. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. 
so they're probably you know still in 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 a break but yeah i understand that but you know i just wanted to give you a kind of a, a, a no it's a, good a, i mean it's good like discussion it's it's yeah. a good discussion because like what you know but I, but honestly ultimately if we're going to wrap things up here uh i i, I don't think I don't think a company like Lilith would do something like that because like even with the, you know, for the example that you have mentioned earlier oh, about like, not. about like what yeah. happened before, like uh, it's very unlikely because I know they've taken, taken it as a serious matter. They took it, whatever happened before they took it to heart and they made right. sure that anything like that would not, you know, it would not be a occurrence in, in, in the, in the game. Right. And I also, and, and also, just to re, just to just to reiterate what I was getting at is that I don't think that John Wick meant to say in any way that this was from them or that this was them. Um, however, uh, I do believe along the lines of there are genuinely people who were scammed, and uh, of course, Lilith has to determine, I think, on their own side whether or not uh, to believe certain community members that are actually bought into the game very well. And I think that they're going to find out that um, there's a lot of people who really love the game. Oh, yeah. Who uh, enjoy playing it. And so they're not going to stop, even if even if they were to come out and say, hey, you know what? Uh, we're going to restore the, the their, their game back to normal, um, back to before the purchases were done, back to before, you know? I just I feel like um, there is a lot but, that. Lilith but here's the thing, though. Let's say they do refund losing. everything, right? I think that would be great if they do refund everything. Okay, mm -hmm. so you know what about if it happens again, and these new uneducated players come in that you know that that you know somebody takes advantage of it and and people get scammed again. Hypothetically, I'm just saying. You know, you know, can 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 they actually say, hey, you know what? We said this to everybody before, but hey, sorry, you didn't get this information because you were new. You know, you you know, you're you're in your new player base. You didn't get this info. Mm -hmm. It's 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 really hard. It's easy for our uh, honestly. It's you know, I'm just talking my ass off here, but it's easy for 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 us consumers to uh, assume that it's easy for 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 them to take actions because whatever they take actions at. It will be the precedence of the next issue. Well, right. It's just like with commanders, right? Um, how many refunds are you going to do with commanders? You know. So, you but these players, though, they stuff. can still play the game. It's just they, yeah. they, whatever. They must have. They must have used it so much. It must have been going on that's for what, months. That's what I'm getting at. Is that's what I'm getting at. Is is that uh. If these people were even a VIP 18, how many thousands do you think a VIP 18 cost? But here's the thing, though. Here's the you thing. Know? One more thing that I want to point out before we end this. If they uh -huh. were doing all that, how much money have they waste or consumed to the real players who were actually playing the game and paying at a normal rate? Right. So you so, mean that, that by being stronger, they were affecting... Uh, they were affecting you know, players play that were actually spending... Yeah. At a normal rate, yeah. it is at very unfair uh, for that. Honestly, so I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really have you know. But I'm just, I'm just pointing out some of the factors in there that with with what happened. I, yeah. I'm just saying, is like I, I think in all of this, in all of this, the community fell victim to scammers, and I don't think that we should try to turn the community against Lilith. And Lilith, I don't think I think should just. I think because we're all a community inside of the game that they've created, which is Rise of Kingdom. Yeah. I think that maybe we shouldn't try to turn the community against Lilith, but also in the same likeness, if the community can bring enough evidence that says, hey, man, I was really legitimately scammed, I think that maybe Lilith can do a little something to help players, certain players out, you know? Yeah, I think they should. I think, I mean, it's virtual, right? Everything's virtual in this in this thing. Like, I mean, I'm sure it's easy for them to just, you know, snap the finger. But, but again, um, for what I know in these type of games is that legally, perhaps they, I don't know exactly, but for for the gist of what I know is that I think I think there's some legality as well about like, you know, with Google Play and Apple. I'm sure um, if they do something. So I don't know, but now with the 
maybe that's why they're trying to move into some of the mobile you know pc as well i don't know i don't know that probably doesn't uh, yeah, relate so. though but uh i don't know i don't know what they would do what's the right 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 action that they should do and regardless of what they do they're always going to be people that are going to you know turn against them you know i mean mm -hmm. i mean it's 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 just that's just how society is i think at the end of the day but honestly the best the best advice is really if you think if it's good too good to be true i mean you know don't it don't is. do it like i mean i've been i've been tricked before too if it's too good to be true don't do it and never give your account like unless it's your like i mean if it's honestly if it's your brother then it's fine but if it's just like a random person you met in the internet then you probably shouldn't be giving your account like they had access At to the account if, and like yeah. how like why and like could, they could delete all your troops too yeah that's that's rough like, that's a rough one, man. like then uh, what do you what then what do you compl what do you what do you then argue with that like oh hey i give my account he deleted all my troops but like as his customer support then you say like why did you give your account right. I'm just right. saying there's a lot that's of exactly factors in the actions. Other, that happens to other people too. You're right. So, um, I just, you know, I guess I guess the message here is, uh, you know... Uh, be wise. Be wise. Be wise with your money. Be wise with your investment. You know, and, you want to have fun. And sometimes and going around the corner is not the always the us. best thing. Yep. Be like the rest of us. <laughs> be like the rest of us who pays the bundle <laughs> full. And yeah, you know, cut, cu cutting corners not always the best the best approach in in life. And yeah, and uh, if you got scammed, sorry you got scammed, man. Uh, yeah, maybe Lilith will do something to to help you out. But if not, then don't be mad. Yeah, it's. I mean, I do hope that they get something back. Or, um, I mean. I, I mean, you and I have. I've talked to you about some of my personal stuff before, so you know I've you know I've I've dealt with like issues with like scammers before, but right. it and sucks, man. You, you, and they will happen. You, yeah. you you lose sleep on it. It sucks, and but but at the end of the day, you know you just got to move forward. And if you can still play your account, and just rebuild it. Just don't. I mean, I don't even know what they're gonna do because the the person who knows their account, you know. They need to unlink everything. Make sure change everything. Yeah, I think the only the only thing that I would do if I if, if I could say yeah do this do it before all those bad purchases started happening reset it back to that and whatever power that was maybe do that but I I don't know what Lilith can do or if they can't even or yeah, they don't want to spend the energy to do it you know I don't but, I don't know what they can do legally. Right? That's the question. Is the legality point of it right? Because they, you know, they have to abide by, you know, by, by, by some legal standpoint to do all these refunds and stuff. It's probably not as easy as we think, honestly. Right. And we don't know where it'll end, you know. But one thing for sure, I think that they should address it sooner before uh, more people have time to think. Indeed. And, and hopefully with these, with, you know, the videos with other content creators and this video, it would shed awareness to people like... If somebody emails you, Lilith is not going to... Mean, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't you ever hear the question or the, the statement saying, we will never ask for your username and password. You know? Yeah. This is like, a company would never... Like, Facebook is never going to ask you for their face, you know, Facebook account. Hey, you know what? Let me fix your Facebook account. Let me, you know, or your bank. Let me, you know, hear your... your, your 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 your, your 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 bank like hey you know i'm bank of america i want to literally say hey i own this i own all these pixels anyways i don't need you to give me your password <laughs> yeah like hey i'm bank of america let me have your bank you know your bank account bank password so i can give you you know or you know do fix your account or something like that but so i mean there's there's a lot of things you know there's it's, it's hard there is it's, a it's, lot of factors there is a lot of factors that go into all of this it's very difficult, and I feel bad for it's the people who difficult. got scammed. Very difficult. But at the end of the day, we, you know, as a community, we can't also be be, be close minded. We need to think about it. the problem in the society is people only think tunnel vision. We need to always be open minded. What's 
you know what's 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 what can happen on the other other side as well not just the one side you know in my opinion yeah yeah i think that we you know i just hope that, the, that this doesn't like uh harm any trust or anything like that for the community and for Lilith or anything. Honestly, so, I think this has been I, I going just wanted, on. I just wanted to have a good conversation about it because I think we have to see it from all possibilities, all angles, you know? I think that's Sorry, what this I, is I had about. to get my mic. Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's a good information that, you know, to share awareness to the community. And I honestly, I did not know because, you know, in, in, in 1412, I didn't hear about it because there wasn't, it, I, 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 I don't think it's as widespread as it is um you know i feel like it's a very controlled you know community that was targeted um because right we, because we, i wouldn't pull them i wouldn't pull them and this is where i wouldn't pull them in i wouldn't pull them in the same category as resource buyers you know what i mean uh -huh. because i think resource buying is more more freight more of a flagrant uh abuse of the system i mean yeah that's another topic anyway but resource but that's not that's not ax but you said that these these scammers accessed the account, right? And purchased on Correct. that account. Correct. I don't even know how they were able to do it if your two system is bounded. If your Google Facebook is bounded. I don't know how they could even do it. They had to I don't even know how. They like, have to have used some kind of a email software, or some yeah. kind of another account, some kind of software. Yeah. Uh, they were very good, I'll tell you that. They have to have been very good. Or some people must have been really aware of. The of course, they're going to be good because we're scamming out uh, Lily. Scammers know? are ex these are experts for those guys that aren't. You know. Oh yeah, it sucks. I mean, I I, I wouldn't want to be in their position, especially if they spent tens of thousands of dollars to this person. Like, I mean, a few a few of you would have been like easy hundred grand for that scam to work, and then and then and then he refunds them, so he got the money back. Yeah, so, that's a lot of money to lose. Like, yeah, that's that's like hey, this this guy could have even easily made a million. Like, but yeah, it sucks. But um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you know, you know, it, it happens. You know, you know, you just have to wait and see what the company does and kind of end up moving forward. But you know, don't lose. Your mind over we're living it? in times where video games are making millions of dollars and we're living in times where scammers, scammers. are gonna come and scam gamers so yeah there's scammers everywhere them. like i get calls every time everywhere. you know yep. there's always scammers like you have to be super careful Keep your account safe people you know that's what we gotta say. Never There's share something. your account especially especially a, a company will never ask for your account like you know, a company that owns your account will never ask for your account. That's just, that's like the basic rule of everything. At yep. the end of the day. Well, all right, man. All just right. Just... No, that was good. Good information, honestly. Yep. And let's, you know, hopefully, you know, moving forward, then uh, the future is still looking good. You know, the game's going to come out with new updates. And oh, yeah. Maybe, I, heard, I heard leaks already about infantry commanders yeah. coming out next. Oh, snap. So can't wait to hear about it or see about it. Well, I can't make leak videos. I can't talk about it. Yeah, really. I know. Okay. I just know <laughs> that it's infantry, which we know with the cycle. So I'm not really leaking, but right. I would say it's yeah. going confirming. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit! Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> this wasn't recorded. No, this is recorded. Uh, it's okay. We'll publish that. It's at the end of the video. People right. don't watch it. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, okay. We'll talk to you later, man. Good luck, Have a good man. Good day.